For many years, NASA has been gathering temperature data from stations around the world, combining it with temperature of the sea surface from ships and from satellites to estimate how the average temperature of the whole planet has changed. This is what they've come up with. NASA isn't the only organization doing this. So does the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. So too does the Hadley Center Climate Research Unit in the UK, HADCREW. They all use different methods, but they've come to the same conclusion that lately the Earth has been heating up fast, faster than it has in a very, very, very long time. NOAA also estimates the average temperature over Earth's land areas, leaving out the ocean. So does HADCREW. Again, they came to the same conclusion. Earth's land regions have been heating up even faster than the globe as a whole. The longer they've been doing it, the better they've gotten at it. They've learned to detect the signs of data problems and to make adjustments to improve it. As a result, global temperature estimates are considerably better today than they were just a few decades ago. Some people don't like what these data say. They don't want to believe it, so they claim that the scientists who put it together are frauds, that adjustments are some kind of scheme to exaggerate global warming or even invent global warming when it isn't real of how this administration promotes its suspect climate agenda can be seen at the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. Its employees altered historical climate data to get politically correct results. NOAA has refused to explain its findings and provide documents to this committee and the American people. The people have a right to see the data, evaluate it, and know the motivations behind this study. NOAA has provided the background, the analysis, the data, and pretty much everything that went into this paper. NASA, uh, which you all think of as being a space organization, uh, spends a lot of money um, researching climate change, uh, Earth science, they call it. Uh, we cut NASA's budget on Earth science something close to 40 percent last week. And Berkeley physicist Richard Muller thought they might be right about that. He was highly suspicious of the temperature records. So he decided to organize a massive project to find out for himself. They call it the Berkeley Earth Surface Temperature Project. He and his team gathered all the original data, unadjusted, and devised the most sound and scientifically advanced procedure to combine it into a global average. They built their method so there was no room for fudging anything, no part that could be made to lean one way or another and introduce a bias. And what did they find out about the land-only temperature? This. It turns out that those other teams at NOAA and HADCREW got it right all along. Soon after, the Berkeley team added ocean surface data to make their own whole Earth average, including land and ocean. They got this. It turns out that those other teams at NASA and NOAA and HADCREW got it right all along. In spite of this virtual proof that there was no fudging or manipulation or biased adjustments faking Earth's warming, in spite of the virtual proof that Earth really was heating up faster than in a very, very, very long time, climate deniers still like to accuse the other teams of faking global warming. 
Which raises the question, if they were going to manipulate the data to make fake warming, why did they get the same result as the guys who built a fake proof method?